So this is it. This is it. Oh boy, here we are. Everything is about to get a lot more expensive. You need to stock up now because this is going to imperil the global supply chain. The war with Iran and Israel has started. This is it. It started and it's not going to de-escalate because even if Iran wasn't successful in any of its hits, which now they're starting to have a lot of successive, successful hits, uh, Israel vowed a very aggressive response. So this is only going to escalate. So you need to get whatever you need to do done now because oil is going to spike and they're going to try to suppress it as best as they can by depleting the half empty strategic oil reserve, but that's not going to cut it. Okay. Uh, gold has already uh, spiked once again. The stable coin that is pegged to it went up to $2,800 for an hour before retracing to $2,450. My friends, we need to really keep what in perspective what's happening here. This cannot be understated. This is completely unprecedented. This is the war between Iran and Israel, the long anticipated one, 25, 30 years in the making, the one that they've been preparing for. And you know that this just isn't a one-sided affair. This takes two to tango. You know that our authorities had a hand in instigating this and they surely plan on seeing it through no matter what the outcome or the expense. This thing is going to get absolutely out of control. Right now, there are lineups for gasoline and supplies all across Israel, across Iran, and across Lebanon. Lineups of cars as far as the eye can see. We have people in grocery stores hoarding food. This is a harbinger for what may come here when we start seeing the collapsing supply chains or the stress that this is going to put on commodities pricing. Now, everything is just going to hell at once. What you're looking at behind me here is a successful strike by the Iranians on an Israeli air base, okay? Uh, Negev Air Base, I believe, as well as other air bases uh, throughout Israel being successfully, successfully struck by ballistic missiles. Now, CNN is saying that the largest volley of drones ever launched was launched today, tonight, against Israel, which is insane to think about. I mean, it, I'm still in awe that Iran actually did it. I, I'm still in disbelief, in spite of the fact that I warned people three months ago that this war was going to start right around the time, although I thought it might be a couple months later. I said before the election, but I'm still in disbelief because Iran attacking Israel is exactly what Israel wanted so that they can continue to wage war in the Middle East. And of course, Netanyahu will retain power and likely bring the United States into yet another conflict. This is going to escalate because Israel has vowed a response, regardless of whether or not there were any successful hits by the Iranians, the Israelis already vowed a response, okay? So they exhausted and diminished the Iron Dome system first with these cheap Shahid drones that cost maybe $25,000 or so to manufacture, probably a lot less because the Iranians have mastered the, uh, the manufacturing of those. But now they're launching the big guns, okay? And they're continuing to launch volley after volley of ballistic missile, and they're gonna continue to do this until they diminish NATO's capacity. Now, Iran probably has hundreds of thousands, if not millions of missiles in storage for this war, and they're ready to fight it. In fact, Demona nuclear power plant has already had sirens go off. It's already been targeted. Guys, this is major. You need to go out, you need to stockpile, you need to get whatever you need right now. I'm not trying to cause like a, a panic buying spree, but I'm just saying if there ever was a golden opportunity to get ahead of the panic that might ensue when this thing goes parabolic, this is it. This is the small window between here and Monday, I would say when the markets open. Now the markets are, are heavily manipulated, so it's possible that they can paper this one over some way, but the real money knows what's going on. The whales have bailed from Bitcoin, okay? Iran has threatened other countries that are party to the conflict. Jordan shooting down Iranian missiles. We have U.S. warships inbound. Biden is about to give a speech if he's not already doing it as I'm doing this video. The U.S. has engaged 
Iranian drones. So they are assisting Israel in shooting down these drones. Now, I thought there was going to be a olive branch extended and potentially there would have been a window for peace there, but it looks like it's not going to be honored by the Israelis because the Iran representative of the United Nations said this, Conducted on the strength of Article 51 of the UN Charter pertaining to legitimate defense, Iran's military action was in response to the Zionist regime's aggression against our diplomatic premises in Damascus. The matter can be deemed concluded. However, should the Israeli regime make another mistake, Iran's response will be considerably more severe. It is a conflict between Iran and the rogue Israeli regime from which the U.S. must stay away. That's a clear statement that Israel is not going to oblige because what they're saying is that senior sources are confirming that an Israeli response to the Iranian assault will be significant and powerful. Okay, Security Cabinet convenes to discuss the next steps. This is what Netanyahu has been waiting for. However, I think they're going to come to see that they've bitten off more than they can chew here. Iranian missiles have also been seen in the sky over the Knesset, over the Dome of the Rock, over Jerusalem. We just have some wild images coming out of there right now. It is absolutely insane. I wanted to give you guys an update and my thoughts on whether or not this was going to escalate. When I first heard the Iranian representative to the UN say that, I said, okay, maybe there's a possibility that this is going to, not because I'm naive, but because I try to be hopeful, believe it or not. Unfortunately, Israel is not going to honor that. They're going to ratchet this up. And if Iran is saying that we're going to see a more severe response, I don't know what's more severe than this because they continue to launch ballistic missiles. And clearly, Israel is not capable of intercepting all of them, even at full strength. This is day one, okay? People laugh at the Russians for not being able to effectively hit Ukrainian, uh, penetrate Ukrainian defenses. The Iranians are already doing it to the Israelis on the first day, after the first volley. Yes, the Iron Dome has been successful in shooting down the bottle rockets from Hezbollah and the Shahid drones that everybody knows are slow and always get shot down anyways and are basically uh, just there as decoys for the most part. If they hit, then, you know, from their perspective, great. If they don't, it's not a big loss. In fact, the interceptor that's used to target the Shahid drones is 10, if not 20 times more expensive. So the whole thing here is an attritional war. Now, what else do we got going on to show you here? So this is over the Knesset. We have interceptions. People are saying this is quite the surreal image to see that. We have air raid sirens in Demona going off right now. I just want to show you guys this to remind you that we've been on this since day one. Remember when I said this just a few months ago. The update. I have some bad news. We're going to be going to war with Iran and it is going to start much sooner than people think. We will be in a state of high intensity conflict with the nation of Iran, not its proxies, the actual state of Iran before the U.S. election. Mark my words, unequivocally, resolutely, we will be engaged in a full blown war. What we are witnessing right now has all I would call the that a prediction of classic Pentagon. And upset. that was uh, January 30th. So thank me later. So gold right now, Pax Gold, this is a stable coin, okay? And uh, it's a cryptocurrency stable coin. And basically what happened today was it shot up to $2,900. So what, how this works is it's supposed to track the price of gold, okay? So it's supposed to basically reflect the price of gold as a stable coin. Every stable coin is supposed to be backed by actual physical metal. This is kind of the, the wet dream of most gold purists out there. If you want to marry decentralized finance with gold, this would be it. Okay, I'm not promoting this at all. I'm not saying you get invested in this at all. I'm just using this as an example. In fact, this is the first I even heard about this. Apparently it shot up to $2,900 today before retracing, then bouncing up to $2,700. Right now, I don't have the current number, but I think it's around the $2,500 mark. If this is true, what this means that come Monday, we are going to see gold prices spike. We are probably most definitely going to see oil prices spike unless the Saudis can be convinced to open the spigots and unless Biden depletes the strategic oil reserve 
even more. But what this means, according to Zero Hedge, and I never really thought of this, it is the weekend. So a lot of the uh, gold brokers are still going to be selling at the price that it's at now. Now, I'm not saying gold is going to go up. Gold can be suppressed. We've seen that happen on Friday where it shot up to pretty much that price and then they crashed it. Okay, they started selling. So, you know, it's a very manipulated market because that's the only way they can control the uh, phony uh, derivative financial paradigm. But some people are saying, hey, I'm going to load up this weekend because there's a good chance, you know, unless brokers are smart and they start raising their prices today, which uh, I'm not sure. I mean, that could possibly happen, but I'm not giving you any advice in that respect. So what we have here is a gas station uh, being backed up. This is in Israel, I do believe, or this could be Lebanon. But people are getting very worried out there. We have massive lineups in, Hez in uh, Lebanon as well for gasoline. Let me just turn this volume down here. Things are happening so fast right now. It looks like people are stopping up on chips and uh, other bare necessities. <laughs> I don't know if that's really selling the idea of people stocking up and panic buying, but the Iron Dome has been incredibly active and it's a very effective system, it would appear, for shooting down rockets and uh, some smaller drones, but definitely not for ballistic missiles. They do have the aero defense team. I believe Biden is supposed to make an address very soon, so we will see what he has to say. These are people who are scrambling to take shelter. I believe this is in Haifa. We have some successful strikes, and I think Israel has vowed a response, so I think we could see a response very quickly. I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to escalate much faster than we think. I cannot believe, and I cannot overstate this, that I can't believe that Iran and Israel are now in a full-blown state of war already. I thought they would at least have to go to Lebanon first. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. To see these kind of sites over uh, the Dome of the Rock is, uh, it's something out of a movie, man. This is, this is far out. So I know what I'm doing. I'm locking in anything that requires this global supply chain, which is pretty much anything because that shit's about to skyrocket in price because Israel has vowed a response. Iran has vowed a response to that response. And you see how this goes. This is only going to escalate. And let's not turn our backs on what's happening in Russia right now as NATO troops have entered that conflict zone. My friends, keep on gearing up. I will keep reporting this as it happens. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I say, gear up right now. Check out CanadianPreparedness.com. Do it while you can, because I guarantee you when, when big shit happens, I mean, that's it. it. It's a few hours and it's gone.